Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa and I create creative journaling, memory keeping, and travel journaling videos hoping to inspire you to find little moments of joy through this practice. Today, I'm documenting the last leg of our unforgettable family trip to Spain, Portugal, and Morocco way back in 2019. Join me as I create journal pages capturing those final moments and share some personal stories, reflections, and insights. If you missed any of the earlier days of my trip, you can check out my travel journal playlist for a detailed look at my journey so far. I'll be showing snippets from our trip, then I will attempt to document our adventure into the scrapbook travel journal. Let's dive in. Day 15 Our last full day in Spain began as we checked out of Da Vinci's Ciudad in Salamanca. The air was crisp and filled with anticipation. Our first stop, the Four Postes Cafeteria for a classic Spanish breakfast of hot chocolate and churros. The rich and thick chocolate and crispy churros were the perfect fuel for our day ahead. From there, we took a short walk to Los Cuatro Postes, or the Four Posts, which is a little shrine outside the walled city of Avila. A cross covered by a four-posted canopy marks the spot where at age 7, St. Teresa's uncle stopped her from running off with her brother to seek the martyrdom in battle with the Moors. Perched atop a small hill, this 16th century monument offers a breathtaking view of the walled city of Avila. Then our journey continued through the breathtaking Sierra de Guadarrama mountains towards Madrid. For lunch, we stopped at Lan Lan restaurant where we enjoyed a delicious meal before checking in at the Melia Avenida in Madrid. Tel was comfortable and well located making our stay pleasant. That evening, we had a wonderful dinner with our fellow travelers. It was a bittersweet moment sharing stories and laughter on our final night together. Day 16. 
Our journey home had an unexpected twist with a flight change from Saudi to Emirates. The long stopover in Dubai turned into an opportunity for some last-minute duty-free shopping and people watching in one of the world's busiest airports. Finally, after weeks of adventure, we touched down in Manila. Home but forever changed by the experiences we shared and the memories with me. This trip was my first time joining a big group tour. There were definitely pros and cons. On the plus side, the stress-free planning and logistics was great. Everything was so well organized that we could focus entirely on soaking in the experiences. We had access to knowledgeable local guides who brought history to life and shared insider tips. One of the unexpected joys was the chance to meet wonderful people and make new friends. Our fellow travelers came from all walks of life and sharing this adventure created bonds that cross cultural and generational lines. However, traveling with a big group did have its drawback. We had less flexibility in our itinerary, which sometimes felt constraining. There were moments when I wished we could linger longer in a charming cafe or explore a hidden alleyway. The limited time in some locations left me wanting more and those early morning departures, let's just say they were a bit of a challenge. This trip taught me that travel is about so much more than just seeing new places. It's about challenging yourself, broadening your perspectives, and creating bonds with both your travel companions, and the cultures you encounter. So whether you're a part of a group tour or venturing out on your own, every journey has the power to transform you. Overall, it was a learning experience that taught me the value of both structure and flexibility in travel. I'm incredibly grateful for the memories we made and the beautiful places we visited. This journey has left an indelible mark on my heart and my perspective. And there you have it, the final pages of our Spain, Portugal, and Morocco adventure. I hope you enjoyed journaling with me 
and that inspires you to document your own travels. Now, I'm curious to hear from you. Have you ever been on a group tour? If so, what was your experience like? And if not, would you consider giving it a try after hearing about my journey? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this travel journal session, don't forget to check out my travel journal playlist. It's full of more journaling inspiration and adventures. You'll find the link in the description box below. And please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more travel stories and journaling tips. Until our next journey, happy travels and happy journaling.